Hello! I have updated my game schedule project. I'm going to show you what's new. First, you will need updated files. Go to my website, FWatch section, 1.16 test. The simplest way will be to use the installer. Now go back to the main page and click on the schedule button. Sign in with your Google account. Here you will put information about servers and mods. I'm going to add a test entry. There's a bunch of different fields to fill in, but only a name and address is required. Next, I schedule a new session. It's set to start right now. I want my server to require mods, so I'm going to add a new mod entry. Once that's done, I assign this new mod to my server. Now let's see how it looks in game. There's my entry, but I don't have the required mod. I'll get it right now. Installation is done. It created the mod folder and added editor update 102. Now I want to update my mod. Back on the website, I select the update option. Let's set version number to 2. If I just update the existing archive, then I won't have to change the installation process. But in this case, I have a second URL, so I add a new installation script. I write instructions to delete the current add-on and get a new one. I'm going to test it in-game. Editor 102 has been replaced with Editor 103. The update process goes sequentially, so from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2. However, it's possible to write a jump so that new users won't have to download the obsolete file. I go to the jump section and set a condition. If user's version is older than version 2, then just jump straight to Editor 103. Mods are recognized by a unique identifier stored in a file. If you happen to have the required mod folder without this ID, then the game will ask you whether you want to tag it. Downloading a new copy is a safer option, but in this case, I know I have exactly the right mod, so I choose Assign. You can rename mod folders however you like, and you will still connect to the server with the right ones. If a server requires equal mods, then the program will automatically rename folders, so that you can connect. Another feature I wanted to show you is making games private. Go to the server properties and write an access code. Now my server has disappeared from the list. To bring it back, I have to put access code in the game. There it is. Lastly, you can collaborate with other users by sharing your entries on the website. More information about mod installation you'll find on the Install Scripts page. I asked Rozek to make his server available for testing the system. Try it out for yourself. And that is all. Thank you for watching.